morning, good afternoon, good evening, great p e e r friends. Depending on your time zone and your location, this is Star News TV Biafra One. Today, the new president of the Republic of Nigeria will be inaugurated. And Mazen Abdekano is still in detention. My heart bleeds. My heart is filled with anger. I cannot comprehend how I feel this day. It is mixed emotions. It is a heart filled with anger, annoyance. And rich. We as p i a f r a n s have suffered so much, and it pains and breaks my heart to see and know that most of the c a u s e of our problems are from fellow p i a f r a n s It is so painful that fellow p i a f r a n s are part. Of this evil against the Biafra people, just because of peanuts coming from the tables of the Fulani, just because of peanuts that is coming from your own land, because of peanuts that is coming, the wealth of your own people, the wealth of your grandfathers, the wealth of your great great grandfathers. That are being controlled by the Fulani, and they give you crumbs, crumbs that fall off the table, and you use because of that to sabotage your brothers. Namdekano once said that the time shall come, and when the time comes, the army of the Nigerian people that have been used to kill their friends will. Come into Biafra land, and they will perish in Biafra land, and it will start from all o Listen to Namde Kano. I'm going to perish there. Your army will die in Biafra land. Fulani Empire, the end of Fulani Caliphate will start from Biafra land. It will start from all o I assure you, start from all o The end of Fulani Caliphate in Sokoto will begin in all o Write it down somewhere. I told you this this very day. The end of Fulani Caliphate will start from our law in Igbo State. Go and make it down somewhere. t h e s c o l l e d hoodies. And this, this, he said here, has actually started. The war has started long ago in our law, and many Nigerian military terrorists in uniform. Are going down on daily basis. The annoying part of the whole thing is that information getting to us now reveals that most of the p i a f r a n s that are involved in this kidnap of Namdi Kano had a plan that Namdi Kano will be released last night or today. In The very speech of m u h a m m a d Buhari, he disappointed them again. Most of them are feeling disappointed that Buhari did not keep to their bargain to release Namde Kano before leaving office. This is why we keep telling our people: work for Nigeria and come back in shame. You kidnap your brother. You kidnap your own son because of peanuts. And today, all your intentions have been shattered. All your plans have been rendered useless. They have used you and dumped you. Today, most of them are crying and are lamenting. That Buhari did not keep his own part of the bargain. You can imagine Ibo's 
behaving like foolish people this is heartbreaking this is annoying and another credible information coming to our decks reveals that namde kanu has rejected another offer from the nigerian government he has rejected another offer to abandon biafra and possibly this is why muhammad buhari did not release him before the handover we must stand firm as be our friends and now fight and now fight we must stand behind someone who is actually working for us we must stand behind simon eba we must give him all the support needed to fight you can see that all the moves that simon eba is making is actually to restore this nation blessed by god it is a nation that will be heaven on earth simon eba has inaugurated the biafra republic of maintain exile and after the vote of no confidence that will be placed on this eastern governors and south southern governors today the de facto government of Biafra in homeland will will officially be unveiled and activated and what this means by de facto government is that we would have people who are working for us practically on ground in Biafra territory like a government working practically on ground in Biafra territory and this would also mean that Biafra has come the fight shall begin and i want to plead with every biafran do not sabotage your brother your brother who is working towards your own liberation towards your freedom do not sabotage your brother you have seen that the no courts can release namdekano you have seen that nobody can release namdekano you have seen that the only thing you can do now that would please namdekano is to push for the actualization and liberation of biafra why are you wasting time why do you not want to act why are you waiting for namdekano's release when you know that the people holding him do not want to release him and would not release him why can't you fight to liberate your own nation why are you fighting the only person who is doing what namde kanu is happy with why are you fighting simon eba why can't you support him and push him to that level where the actualization of biafra would be achieved those of you claiming that simon eba was only looking for power 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 the de facto government in homeland that he wants to create now would be in charge of biafra territory would you now say that simon eba is in love with power would you now say that simon eba wants to do it all alone by himself the de facto government in homeland would take charge then that of biafra government in exile will also take charge of international you know treaties and communications that needs to be done biafrans open your eyes and see who is working for you and follow him forget whoever is talking any rubbish simon eba has the blueprint he has the road map and mazin namdekanu knows this and mazin namdekanu is fully in support of simon eba i pray that as you listen 
that you open your minds and forget criticism and look inwards and see who actually is working for freedom of the Bera people. May the gods of the land open our eyes to the realities before us and may we not be shaken by whatever distractions going on from both the DOS and those who claim to be the accountability group. May the gods of the lands open your eyes to see that Simon Eba is actually working for us. And may we realign ourselves to the true positions of true Biafrans. May we recalibrate our minds and focus them to the bigger picture and to the goal that we all are fighting for. Nothing would happen to Namdekano. At the appointed time, he will be free. But we must do what is necessary. We must prepare the ground and make Biafra a reality such that as Namdekano is coming out, he is meeting a beautiful nation that he so much loves and cherish. May the gods of our ancestors and the gods of the land of Biafra continue to guide and open our eyes and destroy all saboteurs of the Biafra people. 